Welcome to this free YouTube masterclass. We're going to be talking about one strategy that's currently generating $695 every single day. And I'm going to be talking about six different ways you can apply this strategy. Now, what's kind of cool is that this is a cool way if you're a brand new channel, even if your channel is not monetized, if you don't have any fancy gear, that you can actually start making money on YouTube. And there's so many different ways that you can apply this. And towards the end of the video, I'm going to be sharing a story um, during the holiday season and Christmas where I was able to earn thousands of extra dollars doing this strategy in kind of an accidental way as I was developing this whole process. And I want to share that with you. Now, um, I'm also going to be covering the 24-7 money equation, um, which really, once I learned this, I never thought about social media the same way and talk about how you can take advantage of a huge trend that's really going to be growing over the next three years. Uh, but I want to back up this promise of the title of this video, and that's how I earn $695 every single day. So I took a screenshot of um, my Amazon Associates um, account. And you can see that from March 2nd to March 31st, so in a 30-day window, I earned $20,927. So if you divide that by 30, then that's $695 per day. And so I'm going to be breaking down exactly the types of videos I make to do this and be sharing some stories of all different niches. So it doesn't just work like for me doing tech and cameras or the different things that I've been doing on YouTube, but this can really apply to what you're doing. I'm going to share some stories and some examples. But first of all, I did want to cover this question because a lot of people have been wondering, is it too late to start YouTube and does this stuff still work? And the truth is, uh, it's not too late to start YouTube. There's 2.7 billion monthly active users on YouTube right now, which is significant because really there's no signs of slowing down in YouTube's growth. And so even though competition is rising, consumption is rising as well and rising even faster. There's a greater demand for good content. So if you're making the right videos, even if they're simple and easy videos, then there's some big opportunity. But where I think it gets interesting is the fact that over 200 million people are earning money from digital content creation. And sometimes people make just the oversimplification of, oh, it must just be because they're getting views. It must just be because of the partner program. You know, now X Twitter has a partner program and TikTok and YouTube. That must be how they're doing it. It's really not the case. Like most creators that are building actual businesses are going to are using the strategy I'm talking about in this video and other ways of monetizing. Um, and when it comes to all the different platforms, YouTube is really actually the best platform for earning money from home. And that's, you know, the CMO of HubSpot said that. They said that YouTube subscribers are the most valuable subscribers on the internet. Even though Mr. Beast has tested videos on X, uh, the numbers don't even come close to how YouTube pays their creators. And again, we're not even talking about the YouTube partner program today. Um, but uh, YouTube really is, if you want a sustainable business, a full-time business, if you want to maybe get out of a nine to five you don't love or away from a toxic boss or something, YouTube's definitely the way to go. And Yahoo Finance said the creator economy is the fastest growing segment in small business and the creator economy could approach a half a trillion dollars by 2027. So I wanted to share this with you because the strategy I'm talking about, people wonder, is it too late to start a brand new channel or is it still possible to like make sustainable income in the midst of rising competition? And economists over on Wall Street at Goldman Sachs say that the next three years are going to be the best three years in the creator economy. And basically everything that's happened in the last 17 years is going to accelerate over the next three. Like this is just, this is what this article says. You can look it up. Uh, the Goldman Sachs research article, um, that was posted. So really YouTube is healthy growing and it's the most profitable platform to establish your brand. And especially really when we talk about the 20, uh, four, seven money equation, which by the way, you can look at time codes and chapters in this video. Uh, YouTube is one of the only platforms that gives you the opportunity I'm about to show you. I, th I think it actually is the only platform. Like no matter how cool these other platforms are, I'm going viral with an Instagram reel. I'm going viral on meta. I'm going viral on TikTok. It doesn't, pr you can't do this strategy on those platforms. So let me explain. So we're talking about how I earn $695 every day on YouTube using what's called the RSP strategy. 
And today's video is brought to you by vrapodcast.com. We actually have a special offer going on right now on our signature YouTube course, as well as some exclusive bonuses. But I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. And you can always check that out in the description. But here's our question is like, what if there was a way to get lots of views on your videos, to attract the perfect subscriber, and to earn money on YouTube without your channel being monetized with simple and easy to make videos? It's a pretty compelling set of questions. Like if, if it was possible to not only get views, and a lot of people get views, but they don't necessarily make money or they make pennies on their views, right? To, to also in the process, uh, I, you know, what if there was a way to not just also approach YouTube, but just some like overly methodical business mindset? Like, oh, you just took all the creativity and joy out of it. No, what if you can make cool videos, easy to make, that attract your ideal subscribers, that get lots of views, but also that can practically make you money with simple and easy to make videos. Well, there is, and it's called the RSP strategy. So here's the one strategy we're gonna be unpacking and it's called RSP, review specific products. Review specific products. Now stick with me if you're like, but Sean, I'm not a product review channel. We'll approach how you can incorporate this into any channel, but let's, let's use a hypothetical situation. Let's say your channel topic was fitness. So if you had a fitness channel, there's so many different types of videos you can make. Give me some ideas in the comments. So if you had a fitness channel, you could make a tutorial, like at home workout, 20 minutes, follow along. You could um, make a new, like a nutrition video or three, three things you should know if you're getting back into working out, like an educational video. You could interview somebody that's like an author of a new diet or fitness plan book, right? So there's like a million different types of videos you could do. But one of the types of videos you could do on the channel would be an RSP video, like a review specific product. And if you had a fitness channel about literally workouts for women over 40, um, follow along, could be Pilates, yoga, like you could have all this different stuff. Like one relevant topic could be recovery. Like, and so have you ever seen these um, massage guns before? You have one of these? You ever tried one? Do you like them? You know, you can get these massage guns, there's fancy ones, there's cheaper ones. Um, you get them at Costco, Walmart, whatever. Have you ever seen these? Well, okay, so uh, if you look up these massage guns, let's check out some videos that are using the RSP method. So there's this video at the top of the screen, Theragun versus Hyper, uh, Hypervolt, best massage gun. Now here's what's crazy, is that video from Noah Banks, he has 22,000 subscribers, but the video got 233,000 views. So again, if we're talking about the RSP met method, people think, are we just making like random product review videos? It's not what I'm suggesting. I'm suggesting that you're making a strategic video that could get a lot of views. This video got more views than even his channel has subscribers. And there's a reason for that. Now look at this other channel. So this channel has 750 subscribers and they got 6,000 views on Theragun versus Hypervolt, a clear winner. And they're talking about two different massage guns compared. Here's what's interesting, right? Is again, you might have a dedicated product review channel, but I wanna encourage you, anybody could think about what is a relevant product that I could review on my channel, the RSP strategy. But what's fascinating is if you had a fitness channel and you reviewed a massage gun about recovering after activity, then also chances are you're gonna attract People who didn't know you, but they were looking for the Theragun, who they didn't know you yet, they found you and they're like, oh man, he's so cool. Like, she's so cool. Oh, she's normally doing like fitness trainings or something else. So I want to encourage you to put the RSP strategy in your YouTube tool belt. And I want to encourage you that you can punch above your weight class. You could get more views than your subscribers. You could get more, uh, there, you can monetize this and I'll explain exactly how. And it becomes a win, win, win views, subscribers, as well as making money. So what this is called is the RSP strategy. When this started to become really clear for me, and this is a big piece of my whole career, like all the way back in October 29th, 2012. Okay. What is this? Is that 12 years ago? Like what year is it? Um, and I was talking about a, a Canon elf camera, right? And you can see me here talking about my background. I started video in 2003. And on my channel, Think Media, I do tutorials. There was somewhere I was taking apart laptops, like flipping hard drives and just like doing different types. I was doing tips videos. So doing different types of videos, but one of the big kinds of videos I was doing was the RSP 
SLP strategy, review specific products. And so I've been doing this for a lot of years and I've learned a lot of tips that I wanna share with you in this training. And so for example, uh, here's one of the videos I did, best cheap cameras for YouTube, six budget cameras. Here's what's crazy, 2.9 million views. So on, in some cases doing a review specific products video, you know, you might only get a handful of views. And what's interesting is you can still actually make some pretty good money even if you have small views. But now imagine how much a video like this grew my channel uh, subscribers, views, ad revenue, by the way, which is not the main thing we're talking about, but, and, and, and on top of that, then monetizing with what's called affiliate marketing, which we'll unpack here in a little bit. This is actually why, you know, CNBC did a, uh, a mini documentary about me a little while ago when I did almost a $40,000 a month in April in profit, mainly from RSP videos. But it's just not, this is not just something that works for me. I think you're, you probably see this all over YouTube. This is Jen from The Sewing Report. So she does DIY sewing tutorials. So notice she has different types of videos. Like she talked about her 2024 sewing goals. She talked about the hard truth about embroidery machines. So maybe you do a rant and maybe you cover trends and maybe you cover some other kinds of topics and you can cover all kinds of stuff. But some, of the videos on her channel are using the RSP strategy. Well, how powerful can that be? And you know, today Jen has um, over 100,000 subscribers. She got a silver play button, but she didn't start there, right? And when her channel was like four years ago, six years ago, like brand new and much smaller, like just getting started, she posted these videos you can see on screen here. A brother Seeger tips and lessons learned like tutorial video about a, a, an embroidery type machine or something. 446,000 views. This brother, PE800 in embroidery machine, 553,000 views using the RSP strategy. I DM Jen, I said, hey, how are those videos been going? And she said, you know, I paid $650 for that brother embroidery machine. And I've made probably at least $4,000 in Amazon affiliate commissions from an RSP video. So she posted one video on that brother you saw, she invested some money in it. Side note, there's a whole interesting thing you could talk to your CPA or get some advice. Make sure you subscribe to the Think Media Podcast channel and you can look up Think Media Podcast taxes. We have a couple of videos on this. You start getting into a place where now what used to be your hobby has now become a business and can become a tax write-off. So that's interesting because uh, it is ordinary and necessary for Jen to um, obviously teach on this, make a video about this so she could write off the 650, her YouTube studio, whatever else. But she made $4,000 in Amazon affiliate commissions because of creating this video, um, that using this strategy. And so, you know, fast forward to today, it's not only helped her grow, but it's also helped her make income and passive income. So the question for you is what is one product review video that would attract your ideal audience? There are some channels out there that are just doing like, random, just tons of product reviews. That's cool. Like just of random stuff. Like it's like a weed eater and one, the best weed eaters. And the next one is like the best drills. And then the next one is like board games. It's not really a niche as much, but what's interesting is when you have more of a niche and a topic and you're serving your audience and you care about your community, like RSP done right, you're thinking about what would actually attract my ideal audience. What's fascinating is, you know, sometimes people think if I could only collaborate with an influential person, then my channel would grow. But what 99% of creators don't understand is that products are influencers. What? Yeah, like actually products have influenced themselves. Like people didn't know what the Canon M50, they didn't know Sean Cannell, but they knew they were looking for the Canon M50 and they met Sean Cannell in the process. <laughs> did we, did you catch it? Like, so when you start tapping also into the RSP strategy, you can attract your ideal audience in the process if you're doing it right and you're selecting the right topics and the right videos. You know, you can also apply this to things like uh, network marketing, multi-level marketing. Um, Julie here was talking about Modere trim, which is, I don't know, some kind of a muscle tone, uh, maybe weight loss thing or something. And so she did a review and does it work? And then she herself was the case study. So you start thinking about like, you know, as a, a as someone using it, but also as a distributor, she can then not only um, earn money if people want to purchase the product, but she also can grow her team. How? Doing the RSP strategy. 
So here's what it is. It's one of the best ways to attract new subscribers, earn money, and create unlimited opportunities for growth in making simple videos reviewing sp uh, specific products. And what's interesting here is we're going to talk about how you can shift this into brand deals, brand partnerships, open other doors. Like it's just such a good way if you're a new creator, if you're just getting started. Again, when people say is YouTube too crowded, they're really making the wrong videos because you're making generic videos that there's lots of people are crowding. But think about specific products. At some point, when products have a new version, you know, there's like a new Elgato face cam, really niche reference off the top of my head. Like they just came out with version two. Like whenever somebody releases a new version of a product, like the newest version, there's no videos about it. This is why YouTube can never be too saturated or too crowded because new things are always happening. New events are happening in the world. New products are being released. And every time there's a new product, there's also a new opportunity for comparison. The new one versus the old one. Oh, there's a new one of this now. Well, how's it compared to the tried and true version? So there's just like literally unlimited opportunity and it will keep expanding. And that's why using this strategy, you can create unlimited opportunities for growth. And these videos could be very simple. Like if we click back to the 32,000 views that Julie got on this video, okay? This is, she's in her kitchen. She's holding up the product. She's sharing her experience. Like, what are we talking about? Like, grab your smartphone, like, boom. Like, hey, in this video, I just, I've been using, you know, this Tumblr for a while. There's pros, cons, it leaks sometime. You know, do you have a, do you have a Stanley? Like, are you on that Stanley, uh, you know, thermos, <laughs> thermos, Tumblr? What is it? Cup? Okay, listen, RSP method. And here's, here's like six different ways you could also apply this. One, you could do a product review. Maybe seems obvious. Like, so what's just, here's my review of the product. This would assume you've tested it, you've tried it out, you've got some, you know, experience on it, even maybe a couple hours, maybe a couple days, I don't know. But maybe you're just getting it. Un you've seen unboxing videos. Unboxing videos are a big opportunity. Talk about simple. You're unboxing it and like showing, here's what's in the box. There's the cable and here's the manual, throw that away just my habit, you know, whatever. Uh, you could do first impressions. So then that's kind of like unboxing, but maybe your first impression is like, hey, I've tried this this week. So a review is means you've actually thoroughly, probably at some level figured out some of the pros, the cons, and after testing it, the first impression is like, hey, I haven't really extensively tested this. So you can think of, and by the way, you could take one product and slice it all these different ways. Unboxing, cool, first impression couple of days later, a week later, product review once you've really tested it. Now, I'm not suggesting that you go that deep on every video. I'm just I'm just saying, look at all the different ways. Now, product comparison is one of my favorites. Any product that you have, you could compare it to something else, right? So what about a Nordic Track exercise bike versus the Peloton exercise bike? My entire life has been like the Sony ZV-E10 versus the Sony ZV-1. Pros and cons, which one should you buy? And products are influencers. And so people are discovering that as they're comparing the two products. But there's more. There's the three, six, and 12 months later. And those are just arbitrary numbers. Like after six months of testing. By the way, think about how valuable this is. Because yes, you can get views. And yes, you could get subscribers. And we're going to show you how to make money. But like our attitude on YouTube is in service of other people. Your income is directly correlated to the amount of value you add to the marketplace. And what I mean is like, even though there's cool ways to monetize this, these videos are so awesome. Like how much do you love when someone doesn't just give you a fluffed, like a sponsor has paid them. And so you don't even really know if you can trust the video, like versus they're like, I've been testing this for 12 months you know, this, I'm not being paid. My affiliate links are in the description, but like, I've just been testing this out. And you're like, okay, now I actually know it's durable because there's there's been actual tests put on the, whatever it is. So that could be one year later, you know, a lot of the big opportunity on older stuff is people go, I know in my tech niche, it'll be like, is the Canon M50 still relevant in 2024? We just posted a video, ZVE10, is it, it's a three-year-old camera now, is it still relevant? Answer, yes, I'm coming to you right now on this camera angle from a Sony ZVE10. Hi, and so you could go three months, six months, and this gives you a whole nother opportunity 
Because you also might be wondering, so Sean, well, I just don't have unlimited money to just go buy a bunch of products and buy a bunch of stuff. What's already in your garage? What's in your junk drawer? What's in your closet? What's relevant to your niche that you could make one of these? And I'm curious which one you like best. There's also product tutorials. So rather than just kind of reviewing it, you might be actually showing how to use it. So Jen, we just looked at her channel. She's showing you how to use a particular product, an embroidery machine. And in doing so, people could discover those as well being like, oh, wow, now that I see how it works, I've decided that's the one that I want. Now that I've seen the quality of the video, I've seen the quality of the audio, the microphone, okay, that's the one I want to purchase. Which one of these do you like best? Now, how do you get paid? Well, see, this finally clicked for me back when I was getting on YouTube. I was trying to figure out a way to support my family. We had some medical challenges, so pay medical bills. And I really came across a game-changing discovery of YouTube plus affiliate marketing. Like combining these two things is such a powerful tool that a lot of creators underestimate. And listen, I know if you're watching this video, you've probably heard about affiliate marketing before. I think we're gonna unpack some different angles, but I think a lot of creators miss out on the opportunity because they haven't really mastered it. Like they haven't thought about really crafting the videos, really finding the right topics, really finding the right affiliate programs, really stitching that all together well, and then using the 24 seven money equation that we'll talk about to build passive income that compounds year after year. So really, as I started to discover this, I started to do experiments because I understood, okay, affiliate marketing is a cool way to get paid for products that maybe are just sitting around my house. In fact, the video you see on screen was a video called gift ideas for him. I'm sitting with my dog, uh, apple head, Merle Chihuahua Rosie. And on the table in front of me, you can see a pile of books. I got some Tim Ferriss books. I got a GPS Garmin. I've got like a watch. I've got a camera. And what I did was I just gathered some paraphernalia from around my house of um, gift ideas for your brother, your dad, your boyfriend. And I made a video. Now, how you make the video and making the video discoverable is important and getting in front of the intent of people that are searching. But I posted this video out there and then linked in the description to those products as an affiliate, okay? So what is affiliate marketing? Well, it's simple. When you review or recommend a product online, you can earn a commission when someone purchases the product. So when someone clicks my link, like, you know, hey, these Tim Ferriss books, uh, for our body, for our work week. They're pretty cool. Most dudes, if they've never heard of Tim Ferriss, whatever, they this would be a cool gift. Um, and they go, oh, that's great. Hey, I'll list all these in the description. They go to the description, click the link, then I get a commission. Here's my definition of affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is a cool way to make money sharing products you love and use. And sometimes people wonder like, wait a minute, is this gonna make my channel scammy? Is it gonna make my channel like, you know, is this is this ethical? And while there are scammy people that do affiliate marketing, unfortunately, sometimes the industry of affiliate marketing can get dark kind of quick. However, it's kind of like anything, like money is not good or evil, it's how you use it, right? Like social media is not good or evil, it's how you use it, right? And so affiliate marketing done right is actually one of the coolest things ever. If you only recommend products you personally would recommend your friends, your family, your parents, and you're just transparent and vulnerable and honest about the pros, about the cons, then you're adding goodwill to people. You're saying like, hey, avoid this stuff over here that could be, that's not good, get this one instead. Trust me, I've used them for the last three months. I've tried this out. You know, in hindsight, if I would do it again, I don't know if I would have paid that much. Like you're adding good information, but it's a win, 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 win. It's a win because if businesses are going to grow and good products are going to reach good people, then they need promotion. And you as an influencer, as a content creator, as a micro or nano influencer can get the word out about stuff. Now, you also think about like a retailer. Amazon's also a retailer in the middle. So they're, they're winning. The person who created the product is winning, the brand. And then you, the creator, are winning because you're monetizing in the process as well. So that's why really done right, transparently and ethically, affiliate marketing is a cool way to make money sharing products you actually love and use. And so what you could do is sign up for an affiliate program like 
Amazon, and it's all over the world, United States, United Kingdom, Germany, France, Japan, Canada, China, Italy, Spain, India, Brazil, Mexico. Um, you sign up and then, you know, there's other affiliate programs as well, because sometimes people wonder, well, like, will I get approved for Amazon immediately? Like, how big does my channel need to be? And a lot of times I recommend your channel be established when you start ap applying for affiliate programs. What do I mean? Cover art, avatar, you got a picture. By the way, if you're, I mean, massive love if you're on the Think Media podcast or we're streaming on multi-platform. If, if you don't have an avatar, what are you doing? Can we fix your avatar? If you're just like an egg on like Twitter, if you're just like a letter on YouTube, let's do a profile picture. Can, can we? I mean, again, like just, just a personal ask. Like, come on, it's 2024. Can we clean up your social media? Spring cleaning, if we could. Okay, so ultimately, I'm recommending, if you're trying to get approved for an affiliate program, think about this. Sometimes they'll just auto-approve you, but this is kind of like a job interview. Like, how would you go to the job interview? Like, hair all, like, cr like little gunk in your eyes, haven't brushed your teeth, still in your pajamas. Hey, I need a job. You know what I mean? Like, you're probably not going to get hired, but what would you do? You might actually like get dressed and take a shower and put your best foot forward and get your resume ready and go to the job interview. Well, in a way, applying for affiliate programs is like applying for a job. Can we get your cover image? Nice. Like let's make your avatar good. Like name your channel, something clear and clean. Like, and I recommend uploading a few videos because the home page, your YouTube web page is populated by videos. So there really isn't a magic number, but I reckon get get a couple of videos on there. Can we get six videos on your channel? Like, could we start, stop dabbling and start dominating a little bit? Like, and actually, because like, can we be professional? I mean, I, even if you're just starting, you can start messy, but like, and, and, and what could be powerful is if your YouTube channel has a good first impression and if it actually seems like something. So if you were like gardening with Gina is the name, and I see you've got six gardening videos and you've got a cover and all this different stuff, then when you go apply to affiliate program, they go, oh, cool, Gina looks cool. She has a gardening channel. And then she's applying for raised garden beds, which were actually one of our Video Ranking Academy students made like over $10,000 from an affiliate program about raised garden beds that do not rust. Her channel is called The Wild Floridian. And you see how you can connect the dots on these things. She has a clear niche. She's using the RSP strategy. And so Amazon, sometimes when you apply for them, it takes like, they sometimes approve you instantly, but you need to get a certain number of qualified sales within like 45 days to stay in the program or to unlock your money. Other programs, maybe you approve you quicker. Um, and so there's, there's, I recommend you get to a place where you're getting a couple hundred views per video and where you've got some momentum, like six videos on your channel or so. Um, and following by using the 24 seven money equation, which we'll talk about that could getting a couple hundred views on your uh, videos won't be hard to do. So you sign up for an affiliate program and it could be Amazon, but the sky's the limit. I mean, it could be Dick's Sporting Goods, Bass Pro Shop, Nordstrom, Ars, Alta. You could go to places like our style, I think they changed the name, which is a network of all kinds of different retailers. You could go to uh, share a sale, which again, if you go sh Google share, sale, it's a, a network. People wonder too, like, well, could this work if, if I have a, a faith-based channel? Daily Grace Co. as an affiliate program for like Bibles and journals, Logos Bible software. There's like a package on Lagos, like a thousand bucks or more for like the the pastor, like all like this big. And I think you get like 15% through 30%. That's $300. Like what? And again, it's if you're like doing a tutorial, how to use it. Like there's just so many. So it could be software. It could be a network. It could be an individual affiliate program. So what you're going to do is you're going to sign up. Once you log into your members area, you log into your back end, then you can create your own trackable links. Then you can post those links in your YouTube description. In fact, let me just show you on Amazon like how easy this is. Now, of course, once you're signed up, what, what kind of niches are you in? What is your niche on YouTube? Um, and what are your different channels? We have this Swedish car guy here, so I'm gonna go with cars. So let's go like car cleaning, 
kit makes sense. See, that would attract people that are into cars, I would think. So if we go over to Amazon, we've got this uh, premium armor all uh, car kit, eight pieces. And so if I'm on Amazon here, I'm logged in right now. Look at this at the top of the screen. I've got my Amazon as associates in here. And if I just click this little text link, boom, I can create a short link with my code. There's the full length is like crazy long, but I could create the short link. It, it's, it takes like two seconds. So I just go to the product page, go create my link, and then boom, I'm off to the races. And different sites are, you know, different on how their back end is, but that's how quick and easy that is. So you go to, you, you sign up for an affiliate program, you create trackable links. You then can put those links in your YouTube description. When visitors click the links and purchase something, you make money. And so back to my gift ideas for him video, I'm sitting on my couch talking about stuff. And then I put an Amazon affiliate link in the description down below. Now, actually what I did in this case was I made a wish list. This was kind of older school. Uh, I made a, a wish list that's, you know, publicly viewable. That was an affiliate link to like all the products in one link. You actually don't need to do that today. Eventually you can get approved for the Amazon affiliates program. Um, or I mean, influencer program where you can start making like groups of products and kind of have your own page. Um, there's also though, like, uh, if you've ever heard of kit.co, have you ever heard like where you can, um, talk about like, check this out. Let me see what kit this was. What, what kit was this? So on kit.co, um, I have, can I get to the actual kit? This is a place where you can collect multiple different, um, Sean Cannell kit.co multiple different products and summarize them into one list. So here's like best budget podcast gear. And then you've got the microphone, an HDMI cable. So all the different things you would need, right? But this is my, so you can sign up for kit.co for free. But then look at this, you can sign up for all these different affiliate programs. So I can go to, I included the Sony ZV-1 and I signed up for Amazon, Newegg, Adorama, b &H, Moment, Walmart, and Best Buy. Now, I think actually like to this day, I'm not approved for Walmart, um, maybe Best Buy, but Adorama. So you can also turn these on or off and whatnot, or sometimes, you know, everyone shops at Amazon anyways, I found, or the majority of people, but see, so, and if you go to kit.co, you start thinking, okay, well, does this work in other niches? I mean, you got light bulbs on here. You got best Easter gifts for kids. You've got UV black light bulbs, oral care kits. So you're grouping things together. So I've done ones of like my best business books and other ones on, on a couple of different kits. So the point is, um, uh, what I did in my video at the time, which is kind of not a relevant strategy today, but I made it easy for people to see everything in the video in one link. And I put that link in the description. And I'll never forget, my first ever affiliate payment was on November 2nd, 2010. And I want to share this with you. It was $2.12. Can we clap it up for big money? Big money. Cash money millionaires. You know what I mean? So here's the thing, though. The promise of this video is how I make $695 a day, every single day using the RSP strategy. But I want to encourage you, don't despise small beginnings. I think one of the a lot of people, uh, one of the big reasons why a lot of people like don't make it on YouTube is they just give up way too soon. They don't put in nearly the right amount of reps, the right amount of posting videos, as well as improving their skills of, as well as really learning this. And they underestimate the compound effect. The mentality we see in our culture is, you know, people would rather, rather than save and invest and let their investments grow, they just spend today on Uber Eats and Postmates. Too close to home? Like, you know, we don't, we don't have a long-term vision. So I just remember when I made $2.12, I was so pumped because I was like, <laughs> I just made $2.12 on the internet. Like, what are we talking about? And I still was going and waiting tables in 2010 at Red Robin in Smoky Point, Washington. And I was still making way more money at my day job than I was online, but I had a vision. I, I was seeing the long haul and I thought if this could 
compound. If I could figure out how to turn $2 into 200, into 2000, and if I could figure out how to have it work on autopilot, I still suck at this. Like 2010, I, I didn't even know what I was doing and I made $2.12. I was like, what if I improved? What if I like really figured this thing out? What if I mastered this? So I want to tell you this story of these laser Christmas lights, okay? So as I started to master the RSP strategy, and I think this will really apply to how you could apply this to your niche, maybe thinking outside of the box. So I have this Sean Cannell channel where I would do experiments like the gift ideas video. And I was always thinking in terms of like, how do I make videos that like get discovered and get views that are connected to affiliate marketing? And so I'm always got my eyes open looking for trends. And a few years ago, I want to say, I don't know, 2014 maybe or something like that. I started noticing these Christmas laser lights that you put in your yard and then you shine them on your house. Now, question for you. Do you love or hate these types of lights? My wife hates them. Like she, when I got brought these home, the level of disgust and disdain that I started to feel for my wife was off the charts. She is like an old school National Lampoon's Christmas vacation, red and white, big bulb, put them along the gutter. If you don't take eight and a half hours and risk your life on ladders, setting up the Christmas lights, you're not a real man. That's the situation I'm in. So Compared to that, though, when I saw the opportunity, ugly as they may be, to buy a laser light that takes about three minutes to set up, one minute to find the extension cord, plug it in, put the light in yard, project on house, looks horrible, but you're done. Now you're inside drinking your hot cocoa, relaxing. So let me know, uh, you know uh, how you feel about these. Here's the point. Um, I started noticing these trending a little bit. I saw them online, but I went to a Smith's grocery store living in Vegas, Las Vegas, and I saw a kiosk, you know, a, a display of these Christmas laser lights all set up. And as soon as I saw it kind of like in this store, they're, they're one or two years. I mean, they've probably been out for a while, but, you know, back in 2014, they're relatively newer. I saw them like becoming more mainstream. I thought, oh man, I should make a video about this. I was like, these are in Smith's? I wonder, and I started to ask myself some questions, like how, how much search volume is there? I started to do some keyword research. I started to go look online to see, I saw which ones were available on Amazon. I started, I started looking around, okay? So I saw them at the grocery store, saw the opportunity, and you know, I think it's like William Arthur said, opportunities are like sunrises. If you wait too long, you miss them. That's really true for YouTube. Like if you spot an opportunity to make a strategic video and to connect it to a way of earning money, you got to jump on that thing. So this is like November that this is happening, right? Of 2014. And I, I'm like, man, I got to get home. I got to hustle, do my research and make a video. So I made a video and I made a video. Um, I These lights are like 30 bucks, 40 bucks. I had purchased them for my own laziness despite the marital issues it caused. I mean, I had to pay, make up for that with counseling later, but so maybe it wasn't a good financial investment. But ultimately, here's the results of the video. So remember, we're talking about you could get subscribers, you could get growth. Now, I've learned lessons since then, like making a channel of just random videos, relative, which is kind of what happened here, is not the best strategy. Uh, I think having a niche, building an actual community, that's why I'm here on the Think Media podcast. That's why we do Think Media, help you with the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. Um, but nevertheless, was able to make over $100,000 doing various videos like this. Um, and so here's the point. YouTube ad revenue paid $2,424 on this video. Now also notice, can you see on the screen, see the little spikes? Every single year, look how this video went up. It was big the first year. I think since 2016, I think is that the first year I did this. 2017, still huge. 2018, still good. 2019, still good. 2023, still spikes up every year. My friend, <laughs> it's at, it's incalculable how much money this video has earned. One video, one singular video using the RSP method. Okay. So I made the video, talked about some of these lights, put a link in the description. I wasn't going to tell you this secret. These are how deep we go. Like in our course, we share some deep stuff. Um, 
see what's in the description here? Because you might be wondering, well, you only made the video in 2016. Haven't the lights changed? That's a good point. But the video still ranks, still gets views. So what I do is I actually update the kit.co. See, it's a kit.co link. It's a, a link where you can have a page of the best lights. And I say, check out all the best laser lights updated for 2019 here. So every year I've gone back to an old YouTube video and re-optimized it and reconnected. Now, mind you too, this isn't just a cash grab, although I've been grabbing the cash. Um, this is me going and then just taking an hour to research and read some of the top lists and other people's rankings and the best reviews on Amazon and changing the kit.co. Uh, that hour of work for hundreds of dollars plus is worth doing. So anyways, a little nugget of how this could stack. But here's what's wild is just the commissions the first year were thousands of dollars on laser lights. Just the commissions. Okay. Now, oh, that's on top of the ad revenue from one RSP video. And so here's the problem a lot of creators have is they've got the active income thing going, which is great. An active income would be this idea of you're chasing trends, you're posting new videos. You, If you don't post new videos and get paid from ad revenue, or even if your videos don't continue to get views, you just gotta keep posting more videos. Respect, that's called work, and it's very respectable. But our dream is to create passive income, and that's what a lot of creators lack, right? So active income is, is like time traded for money, but passive income is is acquired automatically with minimal labor to maintain. So either no labor or minimal. Like, yeah, every every holiday season, I go back to my video, tweak it, optimize it a little bit. And by the way, that's one of the most underestimated opportunities on YouTube. It's not that people just don't start. They don't sustain, but they also don't go back and optimize. Once you have a good library of videos, there's some value to optimizing your old library, not the whole thing and getting distracted by it, but by going back, tweaking some titles, thumbnails, updating descriptions. What also can happen over the years is affiliate programs change. There was one big painful lesson that we learned. There was a software and they switched their entire affiliate program. There was like, like the, the software that tracked everything. Like there's this thing called impact radius. That's like one where there's one place where a lot of brands will do it. There's other ones, Shopify, well, they completely moved, invalidating a bunch of videos that were constantly getting views. And I lost thousands of dollars for eight months of the link being broken. I'm about to shed a tear. Can we pour some out for the homies right now that have perished? Like ultimately, but there's something about spending some time as you build up your library, going back and fixing some of the things that are are broken. So our goal is to not just have active income, but also have passive income. Like I'm actively making this video right now. I love doing this. YouTube's amazing. But what I want is I want videos that also get views 24 seven and generate money 24 seven. So let's break down kind of how that can happen. So uh, this is homemaking with Denise, one of our VRA students. Um, she wanted to earn more money and make a greater impact as she was in retirement. And so her channel is really about traditional homemaking for today's homemaker. And she has all kinds of different videos. Again, you don't only have to do like product review videos. But what's so cool is she says she has like seven or eight different income streams that she's doing on her channel. But one of them is affiliate marketing. And here's like one of her videos, my prepper pantry grocery haul, building a three month prepper pantry. Well, this is a review specific product video because look at the description she has things and these are all amazon links whole powdered eggs whole powdered milk dried porcini mushrooms dac ham pack of three bay leaves the the four tier shelf clo closet storage organizer see all this opportunity of different things that's why i'm asking you what kind of rsp videos could you do there's so much stuff that could be on brand for your channel adding value to your audience, the convenience of helping them find the exact thing that you've tried, you love, you're using, and you then monetize in the process. So uh, that's why I wanted to share other stories. It's, it's not just like some obscure strategy that because I like really mastered this, I've made some good money. 
this is possible with simple videos where you set your camera up in your kitchen, break down your prepper pantry grocery haul, talk through the whole thing, and then boom, you've got some money coming in. But we got to talk about the 24-7 YouTube money equation. And it really has two ingredients. My friend, this changed the entire way that I understand and view social media. And I hope it changes it for you too. You might be sad about it before you get happy about it, but this is so critical and so many creators ignore this. So there's only two elements to the 24 seven YouTube money equation. The first element is evergreen content. What is evergreen content? Evergreen content is answers this question. Are there topics that people are interested in year round? And does the platform actually support evergreen content? Evergreen content is kind of like I was born in Seattle and all around the Pacific Northwest are evergreen trees. That means they're green summer, spring, winter, fall. So they're not just like a blip. They're actually videos that are relevant year round. Question number one, are there topics that people are interested in year round? Well, yes, but if you go and post an Instagram reel on that, question number two, does the platform support evergreen content? Instagram does not. Like you're not finding Instagram reels from two years ago. My Christmas laser lights video is being watched, even though it's going down, it's literally being watched every year since 2016 and still getting thousands of views. Denise's prepper pantry video is still getting views. So the content is evergreen. Element number one, like if you want the 24 seven money equation to work, you need to have the right types of videos and topics, evergreen topics on a platform, YouTube being that platform where it's a search engine. It's a place where people continue to find the content. And then the second thing you need is an automated income source. So the question is, is there an automated way to earn money that is relevant to the viewer and aligned with the content? If you are a real estate agent and you want to find prospects, leads, buyers, and sellers, that's great. And YouTube can actually bring you automated leads and prospects, but it's not going to be an automated income source. You still got to help them, show them the house, write up the paperwork. Fine. Just different than an automated income source. Now, if you were to write a book, I wrote a book with my friend Benji called YouTube Secrets. We wrote the second edition. We wrote the book one time in 2018. We rewrote the book in like the last year. Okay. And so it just now sits there, very valuable and updated second edition, ebook, physical book, and audio book. It took active work to write the book one time, but now it is an automated income source because hands off, people can buy it. And I didn't do anything last month. I didn't do anything the month before. So then that would be an automated income source. And the question is, imagine if you had evergreen content leading to an automated income source, then you will have created true passive income and you will have activated the 24 seven YouTube money equation. Here's what's crazy. Back in 2010, I posted a video. Clearly the lighting was really good. Like as you like I've been, I've progressed since then. Like do you what do you think about this shot? It's a little crispier. Well, it's 14 years later. The funny thing too is I was I actually like should have known cuz I was a video guy. So I should have known that that I would have been backlit. I had known light source in front of my face. I have no idea what I was doing. Pretty embarrassing. So I shoot this video about a Canon Vixia camcorder and a screw on, screw on fisheye lens. And I, I post that video on YouTube in 2010. All right. Now, here's what's crazy is I took a screenshot of how many views, subscribers, and money this video generated last year over the last 365 days. Let's check it out. So this video has gotten 2,786 views in the last year. Now, you might be like, 2,786 views? My YouTube short got that last yesterday. Okay, Bill, but is your YouTube short 14 years old? If your name's Bill, that was just a generic reference. I'm not actually speaking directly to you. So, so how crazy is this? This video is 14 years old. I got four more, I got four subscribers from that video. Oh, he only got four subscribers. All right, Fred. How many 14 year old videos do you have that got you four new subscribers? By the way, I don't know what they're expecting now. I hope they're getting better value. And the video earned $10.36. 
you can hate on it all you want, which I always say, you know, I see, uh, I see the haters in the comment section, but I never see them at the bank. $10.36 in a year's time is not a lot of money. But if you want to debate with me whether passive income exists, there is nothing more passive than a video I posted 14 years ago that's still growing my channel, still getting views, still getting subscribers, still making money. By the way, there's still an affiliate link on this video to the product, which you can't even buy. But did you know that if they click the link and click over to Amazon, you get credit for anything they purchase for 24 hours, not just the thing you actually recommended. So even just people clicking on that link throughout the year generates income. Now, 14 years ago, my YouTube skills were not, there was no YouTube skills. Like I was just starting on YouTube. I didn't know best practices. Obviously a lot has evolved. I didn't understand the best practices of affiliate marketing and of creating videos that get views 24 seven. But even the little I did know at the time has led to a video that's 14 years old. I, I, I really, this is the 24 seven money equation that I need you to understand. Like when I became obsessed with this, it changed everything because it really helped me start figuring out where I should invest my time. People that are, they tap into what my friend Rory Vaden, he wrote a book called Procrastinate on Purpose. And he, he discovered a type of people. This is the type of person you want to be that are time multipliers. You want to be a time multiplier. And what a time multiplier asks is what can I do today that will give me more time tomorrow? That question will change your life. What is it that I can do today that will give me more time tomorrow? How can I buy back my time? Well, if I can create one video and 10 videos and 100 videos that keep growing my channel and keep making me money, then I'm actually creating more time in the future. Creating more time for sure, because now I can actually buy back my time, whether that's delegating or hiring. Could be now I can afford a house cleaner, so I just bought back time. I could afford a, a landscaper, so I just bought back my time. I can afford to work less, take a month off because I have videos making, see what's, so it's actually a, a time multiplication, which is the power of evergreen content meets a passive income stream. I'm all for if this video was attracting like leads for a business that I did coaching in. That's really cool too, but I would still have to show up and do that coaching. But YouTube plus affiliate marketing is the ultimate leverage. You become a true time multiplier when you tap into this. And Here's what's wild is when we look at this idea of doing the RSP strategy, the growth of this opportunity is bigger than we can imagine. Two things you need to know. One is yes, the creator economy is going to approach a half a trillion dollars by 2027. Basically in the next three years, they're saying the total addressable market is going to double. And what's wild about that is, you know, I'm kind of old school. You can tell by the gray in my beard. I've been doing this for a few minutes. I've been posting videos ranking them, making money with affiliate marketing. And I've watched the growth of the creator economy since YouTube started in 2005. And I started my first channel in 2007 for my local church. But what Goldman Sachs research is indicating and predicting is that everything that's happened in the last 19 years on YouTube, that's when it started 19 years ago or so, is going to double in the next three. <laughs> is it too late to start? It's probably the best wave to ride. Like, oh, but you already have a head start, Sean, for sure. I've been putting in the work, but this is still a good time to, to jump on. Like, when's the best time to plant a tree? 10 years ago. When's the next best time to plant a tree? Today. You might as well get in the game, start riding the wave, but this is, this is the creator economy, right? YouTube, the social platforms. But now let's combine this with the RSP strategy talking about online shopping versus in-person shopping, right? Think about the rise of online shopping. How much shopping, like, are you an online shopping person, like only? Do you have Amazon boxes showing up on your doorstep every day? Is it a problem? Do you have like, uh, you know, do you never leave the house anymore like me? So if you think about it, it has taken a while for there to be adoption and widespread adoption of what's called e-commerce 
right? E-commerce would be online shopping. And e-commerce versus going into a physical store and buying something just continues to grow year over year over year over year. So look at this. In 2001, the e-commerce, total e-commerce sales were 5 trillion. By 2027, in that same time period as the creator economy between the, the red box in the next couple of years, next three years, the e-commerce industry is going to go up $2 trillion. The creator economy is going to double to a half a trillion dollar industry. What, what am I saying? We're talking about a lot of math here. I'm saying that this whole wave continues to go up. More people every single year are shopping online and spending more money online and more people are coming online. That means more people are going to be looking for, oh, what if I have this type of hips or this type of body shape or this type of whatever? Do these jeans fit? Should I get this model or this model of pants? Like what about, and, and whether that's fashion, whether that's you know clothing, whether that's tools. In fact, I want to cover some examples of um, this. Also talk about how you can apply this to brand deals and sponsorships and how it can open the door, even if you're a smaller creator, as well as share a few tips with you. Um, but bottom line is that look at the e-commerce industry, which what is affiliate marketing? You getting a percentage of that $8 trillion in 2027. The growth of YouTube, the growth of e-commerce, the growth of online shopping. And remember, someday you might create your own product, your own course, your own merch, your own coaching, your own events, your own actual physical goods. Cool. That'll take its own level of energy. But this is the best model to start because if you can master making the videos and you can connect it to affiliate marketing and passive income streams, you have a true 24 seven money equation. And if you do it over the next three years, everything's rising. YouTube's rising. Creator economy's rising. E-commerce is rising. Yeah, Sean, well, isn't the competition rising as well? For sure. Yeah, but if you can outlearn, outwork, out strategize, and outlast the competition, you're good. And I'd rather be paddling with the current than against it. It's not like this industry is sh shrinking. So you got wind in your sails. So, anyways, uh, let's talk about some of these case studies. But today's uh, training, and let me know if you begin value, smash like, is brought to you by vrapodcast.com. We're going to go with a few more tactics over the next 10 or so minutes. Uh, but you might be wondering, Sean, okay, this is pretty cool, but how do I actually set all this up? How do I rank videos? How do I get them to get views for 14 years? It's a good question. I want my videos to be viewed for 14 years. Um, how do I do titles and thumbnails, video optimization? And by the way, this RSP strategy the way we teach it is one of 16 total strategies. So if you're loving this stuff, just heads up. Um, we have what's called vrapodcast.com. Right now, we have a, a special sale going on on our signature course, Video Ranking Academy, plus some additional bonuses that are included in one big package, including our YouTube Shorts Masterclass, our AI for YouTube, our YouTube Niche Finder, our Camera Confidence. It's really cool. So to see this special offer, it is limited. This video is public on our Think Media Podcast channel. So um, if you just go to vrapodcast.com, it'll take you to whatever the most current offer. But over the next like two days, we have a really special offer going on. Link in the description down uh, below or vrapodcast.com. Video Ranking Academy is the examples in this training are Video Ranking Academy students. And it's a seven-step system that will walk you through exactly how to do this and more. It also has an 80-page workbook. And it's really the proven system for creating 24 seven money equation videos, like videos that get views that are connected to passive income streams. And it's a cool curriculum designed to be taken at whatever pace you're comfortable with. Um, this is Jackie. She posted this 15 hours ago. She said, I just hit 10,000 subscribers. She actually watched the niche finder course, which is a bonus included in this offer that we'll link in the description. Um, and by the, this whole question, is it too late to start? She says, I posted my first video in July, 2013. So less than a year ago, she started. And then I love this tip. She pay attention to what your audience is saying. She says she paid attention to what her audience is saying. 10,000 subs. Um, Joey just hit a million subscribers. He said, I want to share this with my VRA family. VRA stands for Video Ranking Academy. He said, there's no way I could have gotten this far without the knowledge and support of the Think Media team. 
For my first six months on YouTube, I had zero direction, a real understanding of what I was doing or where I was going. I joined VRA as a Christmas present to myself at the end of 2018 and got to work. Joining VRA was the single most impactful decision that accelerated my success on YouTube. So um, if you want to check it out and check out the special pricing and learn more about it, you could go to vrapodcast.com. Um, we do have a 100% satisfaction, risk-free guarantee. It's totally, this offer is backed up. Um, and so you can learn all about that at vrapodcast.com. Uh, but let's um, talk about a few case studies of how you can apply the RSP strategy and a few more insights. So this is another example I did, best greens powder. Remember on my personal channel, I was doing experiments. And while this video made about $1,500 in YouTube ad revenue, it generated over $20,000 in affiliate commissions, not from Amazon, but from a, a direct website. The product's called Organifi. I learned about it from a friend. I like staying healthy while on the road. And if I can't get fresh green juice, you just mix this with a bottle of water. And so I ranked the video, but here's why I wanted to share this with you. When you start going deeper in affiliate marketing, you could, might get one click, someone buys something, you get a commission, but there's also what's called continuity. And that's where somebody subscribes and every single month they are getting the product shipped to them. And if you if your affiliate program includes that, then you get paid for as long as that person is a subscriber. So the way I was able to earn $20,000 off that video was one, someone found it, purchased it, but then subscribed and all of that was credited to me. So it compounds back to like, if, if compound interest is like the eighth wonder of the world, ranked YouTube videos is the ninth wonder of the world because they compound like YouTube is like a fine wine. It gets better with age. Like it builds over time and not just the videos getting views, but imagine your affiliate commissions compounding as well. This is a uh, dad verb, uh, Andrew too. And these are some different examples of types of RSP videos. He actually has a video podcast for fathers and, you know, parenting and stuff like that. But he also does occasionally videos that are talking about the Ubi diaper pail versus the diaper genie, the mockingbird versus the up, up a baby Vista. And he's made tens of thousands of dollars in affiliate commissions from doing the RSP strategy. This is um, Hammer and Home, but there's Brad and uh, Brad and Tiffany. And they talk about tools. Like, again, this is already the lifestyle and culture that they're living as, uh, you know, if you were doing construction or if you were just big in your garage, this is kind of stuff that you love, you know? And look at some of these videos though. We got how to get dead batteries working again, easy hack that on the right side. That's not an RSP video. It doesn't have to, you, tutorials, you could have a vlog. Like today, we're gonna take you along as we're building out, like whatever. Like you could have other strategies on your channel, but one of the ways they have insane amounts of passive income coming in is talking about tools. Um, Justin Co, who uh, his channel used to be called That Christian Blogger. Now he changed it to his first and last name. But look at like the top five Christian books or five must read Christian dating books. Boom, that's a list of specific products. I didn't even put that on my list earlier. Like if you're just jumping on, make sure to save this video or watch the replay. And it would actually mean the world to me too if you share this with somebody that would love this information. because. Anybody from anywhere, especially with their smartphone and the stuff they already do. This is how you monetize your hobby. And I, this house is how you write off your hobby. It would no longer be called a hobby and this is not financial advice, but this is how you, like it's not a hobby anymore. And actually, this is how you take the thing you love to do, monetize it, create even more money for it. But here's my point is, um, in addition to product comparisons, product reviews, tutorials, what about like a, a best or top list? Not top list, <laughs> Christian, relax, okay. Top list, like top best of, come on PG, come on family friendly, uh, a top list, the top books, top five Christian books. All right, um, and so, Here's uh, Nicole, best toddler toys of 2018, gift ideas for toddlers, obviously directed towards parents. 
not a lot of toddlers are probably searching for this video. And so, um, again, she has done all types of different videos and conversations and, and like advice for moms or whatever, as a kid's occupational therapist who moved on to YouTube, yo, if you're in like internet marketing or you're getting into this world, like Kajabi versus click funnels using a comparison, but one, both of those products, I believe have continuity. So if somebody signs up for a monthly subscription, then you get paid every single month Two, imagine this, whichever software the viewer buys, it's an affiliate link to both in the description. So this is what we have, uh, digital dads and Carrie is one of our VRA members. These are all of our students, but, uh, in our Facebook group, he broke down his 10 K a month business model and he broke down like the different income streams. Well, imagine, uh, an RSP video like this and see this little blue VPH. This is my software vidIQ installed kind of hard to see, but it says one VPH. That is an overlay because I have vidIQ and solve so I can like spy on other people's videos. But here's what that stands for. VPH stands for views per hour. Yeah. So this video gets one view every single hour, 24 views a day. Now who's watching that? Oh, Sean, it only has 2000 subscribers. This isn't some like mindless entertaining YouTube video that's just meant for checking out. This is a business software comparison video. It's not going to get, it's not going to go viral. What is the intent? But think about if someone is searching for Kajabi versus ClickFunnels, this is a big idea. They're pretty close to the final stages of a buying decision. So one of the reasons why people struggle and they don't earn money with affiliate marketing is they try to like put affiliate links on videos that the viewer doesn't have like an intent, intent to purchase something. But if I am searching Peloton versus Nordic track, which exercise bike should I buy? What mindset am I in? I want to buy an exercise bike, right? You know, one of the videos I, I, I uh, remember I found a, a YouTube video. See over here behind me is uh, red light therapy. I'm into, if I, if I was going to start another channel, it would be about biohacking. I might just start uploading. Um, and here's, here's like an example. Think about how, how much money you could earn with uh, different videos like this. Cause by the way, these things are expensive. This is the video I, I watched. So Alex Fergus got my affiliate commission. So, you know, I think that he's a retailer or something, obviously that's like gotta be $5,000 worth of red light therapy right there or something. But anyways, punchline was, I, I didn't, I don't know. I don't know what lights, but then I, I went and I, you know, found somebody cause I had a specific question and a specific problem, but guess what I wanted to purchase red light therapy. This is like $6,000 of red lights. Like each of these uh, weird flex, like Sean, you don't have any like dope Rolexes or anything. I spent it all on biohacking. And I don't even care about Rolexes. So ultimately, uh, you've got, you know, and then let's check this out. So we go to the description, full details and discounts. You've got his blog uses. You got like uh, Code Alex. You got 17 different. So a, a best, a best of, a top list. And I mean, 35,000 views, but think about the intent. So someone out here is like, oh, if you're not getting a million views, you must be struggling. And it's like, bro, this is why a lot of our students are kind of like the, the unknown. They got like maybe lower views, but bigger banks than other creators because they're just playing a different game. Like they're approaching YouTube from a different way with more intelligence and more strategy. Big views are great. And we have tons of people that are like famous and have a lot of views. But what's so cool is if you're thinking, think about how doing the right RSP video could lead to compounding income. This is Joseph. Joseph kind of with a grow with guitar channel found a particular type of video headphone amp specifically that he just went tripled down on. So he got 18,000 views on this Vox blues headphone amp. He got 42,000 views on this Amplug headphone amp. Uh, you know, again, per parents fully in the know. I'm not sure how old Joseph is, but Joseph was making a lot more money than I was making at 14 or whatever. Uh, and you know, thousands of dollars affiliate marketing. 
ranking videos, making the right videos about the right time. But, no, but the headphone amps were relevant to his Grow With Guitar channel, right? And again, we talked about network marketing. Um, Makeup Maven Jessica here did an Avon starter kit. So you could also go unboxing. Think about sub subscription boxes. You've got like the meat subscription boxes, or it could be like comics or like some of those uh, geek nerd type of boxes that are about comics and Marvel or sci-fi. There's so many different things. And and can YouTube be too crowded? There's always the new starter kit. There's always the new box. There's always this month's box, right? And she punched above her weight class here. She has 3,000 subs. She got 5,000 views using the RSP method. So RSV, RSP videos are also one of the best ways to position yourself for brand sponsorships. So people wonder, Sean, what are the best ways to get brand sponsorships, especially when I'm, I'm just starting? Tip number one, build your portfolio. What do I mean? Start demonstrating what you could actually do for brands before you have a brand deal. Tip number two, even if you're not approved for the affiliate program, build your portfolio. Start making videos as if you were approved for the affiliate program and as if you were working for a brand. It's like how you do anything is how you do everything. So like if you're faithful with what's in your hand, God will give you what's in your heart. Faith quote. But what I'm, it's like if you're faithful with little, you'll be given more. Mm -hmm. So it's like when you have a small channel and you're just getting started, make the best video possible the strongest video possible, reviewing a specific product, doing a tutorial, doing a comparison, sign up for the affiliate program later, get a couple hundred views under your belt. But then, and the reason you do this is because imagine you're pitching a brand. Hey, I would love to work with you. I love your product. They go, okay, what are you capable of? The best way to demonstrate what you're capable of is to send them a video you've already made. You're like, well, here's an example of a video. They don't know if it was sponsored or not. But even more importantly, I want to encourage you to like start putting in the work, seeing the opportunity of this, but then like roll your sleeves up, make some videos, practice, post some videos. You know, if you follow our VRA system, um, 14 years ago with the horrible backlighting, you know, terrible video, I still posted a video that still gets views to this day. And so many of our students have done that, like with a low cost webcam, with just their smartphone, with not great camera energy, with not getting it all right, but with getting a few things right, picking the right topic, optimizing the video prop properly. And then you can level that up and have it lead to more opportunities. Like for example, AC Designs Garage, like smaller channel getting started. This he, here's an example of a video he did best budget MIG welder for rust repair. Pretty cool. So this is Adrian and he did an RSP video and continuing to do those as well as others. He grew his channel to like over 14,000 subs. And here's one of the things he said though. He goes, I've done a few reviews, but now I'm getting offers for paid spots on my channel. And so then he said, hey, I'd love to see a video on what I need to look out for, which this is the kind of stuff that we're doing inside of our group. But Adrian is getting offers. So rather than too early going out and trying to like get brand deals or emailing brands, like that's fine, or reaching out to them on Twitter X, like whatever, but you will attract opportunities to you. Remember we said at the beginning, doing the RSP strat strategy will actually attract opportunities to you. Growth, subscribers, brands eventually pretty powerful. And so my question to you is what products could you compare? What products could you review? And what has been an aha moment so far from this training? From what have you liked best? What has been an aha moment? See, our goal here is to not just have active income, but also passive, in passive income. And one of the reasons why I became obsessed with the 24 seven money equation with ranking videos and affiliate marketing is because of the power of passive income, especially for aligning with your highest values. I mean, for me, when I think about what matters most to me, which is my family and my faith, um, which is having freedom, like there's, li listen, this took work, no doubt about it. This took learning skills, posting videos, making a ton of mistakes, but as the golden goose egg began to grow, <laughs> what? But you know, as the, library of videos on YouTube that continue to get views and continue to earn money in multiple ways grew, I was able to have more freedom. 
Like I've heard it said this way, that being rich is having money, but being wealthy is having time. Like freedom to do what you want, when you want, where you want with the people that matter most to you. And so getting to travel the world, getting to spend time with my one-year-old and my three-year-old, getting time for family. And this is personally for me. Now for you, it just might be better vacations, bottle service. I don't know what you want to do. Like, but this is possible. And the RSP method is one of the most underrated ways to do this. In fact, this is exactly, everybody you see here has tapped into this on screen. These are different video Reiki Academy students. Um, and their niches are like keto, Christianity, cowboy cooking, modern pioneering, uh, DIY construction, uh, audio gear, a doctor, an eye doctor, a political channel. Like all the, this is our VRA students that have done these videos, but are also purpose-driven people. You know, RSP attracts the subscribers that they want to impact and the other kinds of content. Cause you're again, you're like, I just don't want to sit around reviewing products all, all day. We'll do whatever you want. I'm just saying like using this strategy, maybe seeing it in a different light can help you reach your goal of also not just making money, but making a difference. And, you know, we're on a mission to help 1 million purpose-driven people create a full-time living, doing what they love while making a difference in the world with YouTube. And a lot of our students are, are like on a mission to, really impact people or see more joy in people's homes or see people pain free like dr andrea is a chronic pain doctor but also is recommending these powerful tools for like myofascial release and stuff that are helping people and you can monetize in the process of actually changing lives who's waiting for you to show up and take your dreams seriously who's waiting for you to be willing to maybe Create some videos that were counterintuitive to what you thought so that you can reach the audience you've ultimately wanted to reach. So that you could be in their life hope, helping them like I'm hopefully helping you right now. So I want to know what is your aha moment? What has stood out? And Healing My Life says my aha moment is realizing that this is a way to make money and create freedom. I love that. Um, Thane says for me, it's learning through repetition, listening. Uh, though it may be similar to a prior video, the knowledge gets planted more firmly. Yeah, I appreciate you being here. A home moment, just do the work and the rest will come. Yes, pocketing profits. Uh, thank you for that comment. And and by the way, again, if you want to see that special offer that we have, you can go to vrapodcast.com uh, for a limited time. We have a few bonuses, special pricing. And if you're curious about this exact strategy, as well as the other 15 strategies like this that we teach in depth, as well as our entire what's called the 7R system. It's our proprietary process for how we approach YouTube uh, for ranking videos, the 24 seven money equation. All seven of these R's will learn in our course, about 50 hours long, not for everybody. Of course, it's your choice, but if you wanna learn more about that, check out the link in the description or, or go to VRA, stands for Video Ranking Academy podcast.com. I've learned this, commitment is the foundation of all great accomplishments. All work, all works, works if you work it, you know, but information is not enough. We have to take action. So I want to encourage you, if you've gotten value out of this video, smash like, um, subscribe if you're not subscribed, but now it's time to go put in the work. My name is Sean Cannell, your guide to building a profitable YouTube channel. Thanks for being here today. And I can't wait to connect with you on a future training like this.